In this video, I will walk you through the simple process of making a badge logo in Illustrator. It's straightforward and requires a low to intermediate level of experience. So let's jump right into it. What's up everyone? It's Tom back with another graphic design tutorial. Today, how to design a badge logo in Illustrator. We will start by making a star shape. Click over the shape tool until this window opens and select the star tool. I will click on the artboard. I will use 18 points and the other measurements are the size of the points. Now with the star highlighted, go up to the effects stylized and round corners. You can preview before hitting OK. With the shape not selected, switch the fill colour over to a stroke and then select white. With the ellipse tool in the centre of the star, hold down Alt and Shift whilst clicking and dragging. You can align everything later if it's not centred. Change the weight of the stroke line here to whatever looks best for your design. Now we need to duplicate this circle by holding down Alt until you see this icon and clicking and dragging like so. Make sure the stroke window is open and select a new circle. Check the dash lines box and change the measurements until yours looks similar to mine. Now we are going to align everything. Click and drag to select all of the shapes. Then head up to the top menu to make sure your window is open, and then align like this. Grab the text tool and write a short word or phrase to go in the very centre of our design. Change the colour to white and place it over your shapes. Looking good so far, but next we will be using the ellipse tool to curve text around a circle. Make a circle stroke like before around this size and then go and select the scissors tool here. Simply click the two anchor points like so, making the circle split into two parts. Hold down a click on the text tool and select the type on a path tool. Hover above the top line that we just made and click. Now type in your text. With it highlighted you can change the colour, and don't worry the line will be invisible. I'm just adjusting the kerning and the size of my type. What you choose is entirely up to you.
and of course, a typo. I am the Typo King, which is something you will get to know if you watch more of my videos. Do the same on the bottom one. Just watch closely here. You must use the white arrow tool to play around with the layout of the type with the anchor points. Grabbing this point here flips the text to make it upside down or not. The other ones at the end drag the text left and right. It can take a bit of getting used to, but once you got it, it's fairly easy. You can drag a guide down from the rulers to align the text. If you have no rulers, hit Command R or go up to the view and show rulers. Use the white arrow as before to align the type. Great, we're nearly finished, just a few more details and we're done. Click back onto the standard type tool and type some text just to go underneath the main part of text. Choose the size, style and colour, but I would opt for white at this point. We need to select the pen tool and change the fill to a stroke using the color white. Click next to the new text and hold down shift to make sure the line is straight and make a line like so. And then with it highlighted change the weight to make it thicker. And then change the style here to what I've used. With this still highlighted, check these two boxes in the stroke window to round the ends of the line. The edges look a bit rough and jagged here, but trust me, this is a vector program and it looks fine when you print or use it on the web. Highlight it, then hold down Alt and click and drag to duplicate. Go up to Object, Transform and Reflect. We are going to align everything now, so you need to select the two new lines and the new text by holding down Shift and then go up to group. Once you've done that, select everything and align them all. This looks great, but we're gonna add five more stars because this is a five star design after all. So take the star tool and make a five pointed star.
duplicate it like before and resize it to a similar size. Duplicate the star and then duplicate the two smaller ones and put them over on the other side. We can align the stars along the same horizontal line. And there, we're done. One vintage looking badge logo design, vectorized. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, let me know by hitting that like button or leaving a comment. Subscribe for weekly graphic design videos, such as tutorials like this and speed up videos too. Click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be informed when I upload a video. Until next time, design your future today. Peace.